Hey guys, Shock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have some great news for Samsung Galaxy S24 owners. Official One UI 8.0, the stable version, is now being pushed out to the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. So this over here is the S24 Ultra. I'm gonna go to my settings right over here. I'm gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna go into About Phone, and you can see software information. It is One UI 8, Android 16. The last update that I got was today, which was in fact the official One UI 8, where they transitioned from the beta to the stable version. If you never installed the beta on your phone, then you're gonna go straight to the stable version and it's gonna be much larger than this. But in this video, let's dive in and look at all the new features on the S24 series. So first up quickly, my favorite feature. If I go to my settings right now, and if I bring in my Samsung Galaxy Buds, it could be any Buds, with the brand new One UI 8, now what's happened is when you open the Buds and put it next to your phone, you're gonna see there's gonna be a quick menu right here that's gonna pop up to control those Buds. So this is the same menu you were able to get from the Galaxy wearable application that is now discontinued so to connect to your Galaxy Buds, if you have any, it's gonna be this way, okay? So when you close the case, it's gonna disconnect as you can see. When you open the case and just put it next to it, it's gonna open up. You're gonna get a quick pop-up on the top, but here's the menu you're gonna to use to access everything. So that's number one. Number two, another one of my favorite features, new split-screen multitasking feature. So if I were to go over here and launch a calculator application, let's do this one right here, and let's do split screen multitasking. So I'm gonna tap over here, I'm gonna say split screen, and then just pick this one right over here. Now in the past, when I swipe this down, all the way down here, it would just disappear and go away like this. Now, what I'm able to do is if I activate split screen and get the second screen at the bottom or the top, I can swipe down to this area. Look at the color change. The color goes from white at the bottom right here to black. You can let it go and it's gonna give you this minimized window while you can focus on one application. This is new. Previously, at this level, it would just disappear like this. So now we have extended split screen multitasking, which is much better. Let's do that one more time. Animation is nice and smooth as you can see. Okay, so let's see if it works this way. It works this way as well. So you can focus here when you want to on this one application and then go right back into multitasking or you can do it this way, okay? And of course, when you're done, swipe away. Good to go. Next up. And of course, we have one of the most favorite features, the shifting clock, as you can see. As I wake up, as I go from my always on display and wake up the display and go to my lock screen, you can see we have that dynamic shifting clock, which is great. And again, to, and to set this one up, you pinch the screen, go to wallpaper and style, make sure you pick a wallpaper that is portrayed by nature of animals, of people, or whatever. It could be a building as well, but mostly portray of animals and people, something like this, as you can see. As I move this around, the clock shifts around the object. Now to activate the clock, you go on the clock that you have, and then in style, you have to pick one of these two styles right here, this or that, okay? And then when you go to font, you have to pick the shifting clock font. So the regular fonts are not gonna work, but you have this shifting clock. There's even an animation as you can see. You tap that and it starts working, and you can move it anywhere that you want, and it's gonna uh, position itself around the contours of whatever object that you have here. It's nice to have an object that is separated from the background like this one, okay? Animals or people. So now when I go out there, nice, smooth, shifting clock, as you can see. Fantastic. On the weather application, we have brand new animations for outdoor weather conditions. So when I launch this application, you're gonna see right over here, we have a brand new animation for each different weather condition. Right now it is cloudy, sunny, rainy, snowy. It's all gonna give you a nice updated animations right over here. The rest of the app is gonna be the same, but the animations you get here are gonna be more realistic and more rich, 
So that's fantastic as well. Now we do have some really important updates to the camera. So let me launch the camera. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to swipe up. And you can see, as I swiped up, instead of the camera flipping over, I got this menu. So let me show that to you one more time. Normally, you tap here to extend this menu. Now you can simply swipe up to extend that menu and access all the settings right over here. Now, this feature does need to be enabled, okay? And you can also go back to just switching the camera like this. If you want to do this, that's great. Let me show you how to do that. So again, swipe up. Here's my settings. Tap. Scroll down. And you can see swipe preview up down to open quick controls or switch cameras. I can go back here to the old version, which is this one right here. As you can see, just switching cameras. Or I can now, which is my favorite, tap and go to quick controls. Or I can even turn it off, by the way. If I don't want nothing, that's fine too. But this is much better for my purposes. So that's great uh, update with the camera. A great update with the calculator application, by the way. So let's launch the calc application right here. Okay. Now, when I tap my scientific calculator option right here, it expands downwards. Previously, it would put this in landscape mode, which if you were holding the phone like this, everything would go this way. So you have to then twist the phone and it's going to look like this. Let me show you. It will go to this mode for some reason. Now it doesn't do that. When you tap this guy, it glides down and glides back up. You don't lose the portrait orientation by going into the landscape orientation. So that is also fantastic. AI Select now works faster. So when I pull the edge panels in here to access my AI Select, I tap on this button. Previously, you would have to tap on the button, wait for it to load, and then start selecting stuff on the screen. Now look at this. I tap and I can start selecting immediately before it starts to load up and I get my options quickly. So that's great that they have made AI select much faster. So again, I pull this in, tap, and I can start selecting immediately as you just saw. Previously, there was a lag, two, three seconds almost. Now it is instant, so that's great. And of course, we have the Now Brief on the S24. Some people were wondering, so uh, I can pinch the screen, I can tap on my widgets, and I can access Now Brief, which is right over here, several different versions. Let's grab this one right here. Uh, let's just put it right over here, okay? So now I have access to Now Brief, which is going to give you information uh, based on your needs when you tap this. Weather, and then you can come down here and you can customize everything that you want you and get tips and tricks so that's right there and additionally you're going to have access to now brief uh, on your lock screen it's going to show up right here right now it's not showing up but it is going to show up here when there's an actual update okay i just did that so that's going to update soon and it's going to be in my lock screen uh, in the actual cards at the bottom so that's great Here's an example working with a person. So if I wake it up from the always on display, you just saw the clock shift. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. We also have the brand new dynamic wallpaper. So when I pinch the screen and if I go to my wallpaper and style, tap on change wallpapers. Now you're going to see right over here, we have two under colors, dynamic wallpapers. So let me show you what these are. If I tap on this one, and we're going to have it on the lock screen and the home screen. Look at this. I'm going to tap on next. And basically what I can do is I can tap on the style and I can pick from different styles for the dynamic wallpaper. And you can see the dynamically shifting color. So it says this dynamic wallpaper changes color over time. So it's going to change over time to all these various different colors, which is great. Okay. It just gives you a nice dynamism. And if I tap on done, and if I go to my lock screen, you can see it's also going to give me the effects as I unlock and lock the screen. So let's do that one more time. Wake it up. You can see it changes position and then goes back. Look at that. And then when I go inside, it takes the final form of the wallpaper. So if I go over here, that is the final form. Let's look at that one more time here. So look at this. I unlock it. I go inside. Boom. Final form. Nice and smooth. 
and it looks like we have two of those guys that you can play with. Uh, that's the other one right here. If I tap over here, again, I've got several options to play with from here as well. Now, if you go, if you unlock it, so right now I'm on always on display. If I unlock it from right here, the dynamic nature of the wallpaper is going to show up on my actual home screen wallpaper. So that's great as well. The next thing that we have is if I go to my phone application and if I go over to my profile right over here under contacts, your profile will show up right here. I now have a brand new screen, editing screen for my profile card. So when I tap on edit, this layout is brand new. You get to see the larger photo and the smaller photo separately. And when you go inside, the design is different. You have all the options at the bottom right here. I can add effects as you can see from here. So look at this. These are different effects I can add to the, uh, the photo. I can even change the colors from here if I want. Okay, that's all going to be based on your needs. But this screen itself is in fact now better and cleaner presented. Okay, if I tap on this one, same thing. New layout more efficient layout, edit your profile card. The next thing that I like is if I pull this down and go to my quick share, the quick share, this is completely revamped and looks far superior. Previously, you would just get a pop-up menu that was very basic. Now it is more advanced and you have two tabs at the bottom, receive and send. So if there's any phone in the vicinity that you're able to receive from, that is going to show up right here. And also, if I tap on send, you now have the ability to select files before choosing the person you want to share with. So I would tap on select files. It brings up my gallery. I can go from, from images to videos to docs or other. And if I want to select a photo, I can do multiple or I can se select the one that I want just like that and tap on done and then Whoever pops up here, I can just send it to them directly, okay? And that's what it's going to look like. Fantastic new improvement to the quick share area that looks far better than before. We also have an update to the calendar application. So if I go to my calendars application right over here, and if I tap on plus, you'll notice on the top, I have the ability to create an event or a reminder under this tab right from my calendar application, which just makes the whole process more efficient. You can access one app to do two things and both of these guys talk to each other. So if you launch the reminders application, you'll still see what you made here. Or if you make something in here, you'll still see it on your event calendar. So that is absolutely Fantastic. There's also a cool update to the reminders application. So if I launch the reminders application and if I go to add reminder, it is slightly redesigned on the top here. But under here, when I tap on plus, you do get access to this brand new toolbar. So if I'm adding something here, let's just say shopping, I can quickly add a sub item to that menu. So I can say milk. I can tap again. I can say cream. Okay. Tap again. I can say coffee. And I can also access these options here. I can add a time for my reminder. I can add a location. I can go to my camera and I can actually add photos and videos that might be relevant. And I can even tap on this button here and add it to a category directly. So that is great as well. Now, if you go to your settings and if you are somebody that uses the modes and routines all the time, good news, we have new modes and new routines and inside the routines that you're able to create, you have even more options. So let me show that to you on the actual change logs. If I tap on settings and if I go down, go to software update and last update. And if I go to all changes, you can see under modes and routines, we have new preset routines and also new routine actions. So that means under settings over here, we have new presets. And if I go to my routines and I create a routine, I have more options in here to do even more advanced routine work. So that is great for people who are into automation. 
All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. Guys, have a fantastic day, all right?